In this video, I'm going to go over a question from a GCSE physics paper that's based on the specific heat capacity required practical. I'm going to show you how to get every mark available. So let's jump straight in. First, we need to know how much oil we've got. So write something like put the beaker on the scales, set the scales to zero, add oil to the beaker and record the mass. Next, say that you're going to measure the starting temperature of the oil. The next step is to put the beaker onto the heater. See how easy it is to get some marks for this stuff? You might have noticed that as yet I haven't talked about keywords and I'm not going to either. And this is because there really aren't any in the question other than come up with a practical on how to do X, Y, Z. With all equipment, we have to make sure there is no zero error. So say something like zero the joule meter and turn on the heater. There is a health and safety issue with this practical and that the oil can get pretty hot. We don't really want it boiling. So write something like watch to ensure that the oil doesn't overheat. Now wait until you have recorded a decent sized temperature change, say 30 or 40 degrees. Turn off the heater and quickly write down the final temperature of the oil and the energy used from the joule meter. We now need to work out the change in temperature, which is easily done by taking the final temperature and subtracting the initial temperature. Write down something like, work out delta theta, the temperature change of the oil. We now have all the data we need to work out the specific heat capacity. So write something like, use the equation E equals MC delta theta to work out C, the specific heat capacity. You can write the equation in words or symbols, but I don't think there's any real need to show the algebra to work out C equals. Although, of course, if you want to, it's not going to do you any harm. If you're the kind of student that notices things, you will have seen that I've awarded myself a lot more than six marks. That's normal for these questions. There are lots of possible right answers that can gain you credit. If you found that useful, take a look here. This also covers a six mark question. 